Good morning and welcome to my channel, Joy to the World. I am Melissa Joy. Now today is going to be a kind of a rando chit chat. Um, somebody had written in saying, can you tell us all the micro movements and decisions that you make in order to get better? Because they were feeling stuck and just in the doldrums of life and just wanted to sleep it through. So I was like, well, I think I do that in a lot of things, but here's a very direct one. And then we'll chat a little bit about what the sunrise said this morning. So um, that TBI I had 21 and a half years ago, it's still an open fracture in my skull. And so my skull can still move around quite a bit. The skull basically looks a bit like a soccer ball. And these bones are supposed to be knit together and just slightly flexible. But when there's an impact like that, they can really just move about. And so um, it'll turn into like jello. And those sutures will get really soft and it'll just start gushing all around. And your head can get really deformed and it causes a lot of pressure on the brain. So that makes the brain very cranky. And it sends out all these pain messages because I'm assuming it probably is painful. And that was happening last night. Um, so I'm laying there and this is not about me. This is about how to move through this because one of the messages that came through the other day that I listened back to was talking about, have you been thankful for the pain? And I was like, okay, God, I've been with you through this and that and whatever, and I've worked through it and done the work and what, you know, such and so. And I was like, well, no, I'm not thankful for the pain. Usually the pain is a trigger to ask for help. So I was asking for help and what should I do or how should I adjust instead of just saying, oh, thank you for the pain. Because I mean like, tweak, <laughs> hello, that's not my first response. But if they're getting us out of that linear logical type thinking, maybe this is something in that more organic dynamic sphere of life and I'm like okay why not test these things out right and so I have been and there I was last night literally my skull feeling like it's crushed under the back two tires of a school bus and I'm like oh my god this is so painful and I'm on ice and I can't even feel the ice um, because I say it sets my brain on fire right and so I'm melting these ice packs and I'm like, oh my God, there's no relief. There's no relief. There's no relief. And like, I could feel the different areas of pain competing for the microphone to like, give me a what for on uh, why I'm making them hurt. And I was like, okay, let me find the one that's screaming the most. And so in my mind's eye, you know, just like, imagine if your knee was hurting, you can kind of see what it feels like. Is it throbbing and pulsing and feeling really big? Or is it feeling stuck and cranky and scratchy and uh, creaky? You know, so you just kind of tune in to the language that it's speaking to you, right? That information that's divulging. And uh, so mine was feeling cracked and crushed in this back area. And so I see it there and I'm like, thank you, thank you, thank you. And in several instances within the third or fourth thank you, um, it subsided. And you could think it jumped to a different area, but I do know it was like crushing all over. And so I go to the next one that seems the brightest or most intense or insistent, right? Like the squeaky wheel. And squeaky wheel gets the oil. <laughs> Maybe our attention is that oil. So I go to that one and I'm like, okay, 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 okay. Thank you, thank you. And I'm breathing. <sighs> which I need to remember to do right now. And I'm like, thank you, thank you. And then it melts away. And I'm like, all right, this is crazy. You could say placebo effect. It's not like I was wanting it to work. I was seeing, does it work? Does this work if to, after 21 years of fighting all these ways of coping and surviving and moving through on a time and space scale? How do we get into this miracle power? Which is what these readings are about, which by the way, I apologize, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer and Leo. If you knew the technological weird things that are going on in my computer, in my phone, stuff is super freaky. Things are disappearing and they're slipping away and then they're showing up as something else. So I don't know what happened there, but you could go back to the vault. Like if you go into my channel and you go to playlists, you can find the one for the piece of the pot that you're looking for and click on it because all of these are timeless reads. And every one of those seeds, if you go to the one that you're drawn to, just ask yourself, which one is calling me and go to that one. They're like seeds. They don't open until you water them with your attention. Okay. 
So back to this watering with the intention or maybe oiling it like, like the Tid Man <laughs> door there, right? If you've been stuck. And so I found the next space because there were three, four, five. And by the time I got to the fourth or the fifth one, the big overall storm in my skull, in the back of my skull, my head just began to dissipate. Now, have I tried this with other things? This, like, primary, singular focus type way? No, I don't know if I have, honestly. And when I do, I'll share. So for now, that I started there. Now, this isn't something that's gushing blood that you need to run to the emergency room for. This is something that I've sought attention for for decades now and to no avail. So maybe start with those things that nobody's been able to help, right? Like I even do like Mary Poppins and go spit spot to the clutter that's in the floor right now because when the head starts hurting, I cannot get those drawings put away or finish putting away the beads from the jewelry project that I was working on. So anyways, after a few of them were addressed, that, that intense like friction and frustration and angry storm that was going on back there just really began to ease and give off, just like the clouds start melting away. And uh, it was really profound. So I think her name was Paige. Paige, thank you for asking. Um, I hope that's a direct share that really helps you there and anyone else as well. And um, the other thing is, is that message that was put out about extremely personal information. I had no idea what I was going to share. All I know is they say you need to get on there and tell it. And that nurse in the in the emergency room is like, you need to share your story. And I'm like, well, she is, is. This is what's going on in my life right now. And it's the behind the scenes. But why would I want to take you there? Well, it seems to be it's a different form of encouragement. One that I didn't understand and haven't experienced much in my life. Because normally I would keep those things in, push them down convert them like into to fuel to move forward and uh, that hasn't been working right now apparently for very good reasons so that these new techniques could come about and I could share them in real time while they're happening I mean this whole thing is raw y'all you can tell I don't edit stuff here look look at the color of my teeth look at these wrinkles on my forehead coming from this stress you know um but just so you know those things are not orchestrated and planned about the only thing that I kind of can have a gist of what's going to come through is when I'm watching the sunrise. That's where human beings used to tune in for the good morning news of what's gonna happen in the day. It really gives you a lot of information if you're someone who is given to sun gazing. Do you sun gaze all the other time? No. Can I sun gaze at the sunset? I prefer not to, it's too intense for my eyes. But when the sun rises and it's soft and gentle, just those first couple of inches, I do. So um, it was interesting this morning, there was cloud cover coming in, which you could think is a bit of oppression, but it's something really causing, external situations causing you to hone in and intensifying your focus, your ray um, of life into a specific area. And that could be an area of intensity, seeing as what we started this conversation out with, okay? So let's go from there. And then it began to move through and open up into this just huge, voluminous, juicy golden color, which could be like, oh, it's coming. I'm having a little success, having a little victory. And yes, stay with that. Stay with that, my friend. And then it began to burst into the Jupiter and the sun energy that is coming together for a lifetime. Okay. I don't just talk about here's what the NASA planet is moving into the this and that, and here's what the astrologists are saying, da 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 because any report that they give, that's actually not the sign that it's in. When you use your stargazing app, you look, and Jupiter's in Aries right now, okay? And so is your anus. So that's what we're having the battle out for. Is it going to be stubborn and insist on proving the old evidence, the old body of truth that has been occurring for some time and falling for that? which means spiraling backwards, spiraling out, okay? I had a micro spiral yesterday, I shouted. I'm like, what is going on? Um, but again, those things, although it's important to release them, um, they don't always serve to the progress. Ultimately, of course. So sometimes breathing through that intensity is a really good solution. There's tip number two. But anyways, the Jupiter coming in is thinking that, okay, 
I'm on the upswing. Things are making a turn for me. The worst is behind me. And that's beginning to create a circle and a spiral and a honing in. Like, like when you cut on your maps, it has to create a, a signal out and a signal back to respond to find out where you were starting from, okay? Before it begins to give you those directions. Um, after you've keyed in the entry point and the destination. But it still looks to find exactly where you're at right now. So it takes a moment for that to ping back and forth. Well, that's the thing about Jupiter merging with the sun is everything working out in your best interest in the most efficient and effective way. The, the least pain, the most grace, and um, that, that land of plenty. Because the beauty about plenty is there's an abundance for today. You know, if you wanted to have the riches, then you have to hold the burden of that, that funding that is like often forever ever land like I want to buy all the groceries for the rest of my life no you don't no you don't because then that also creates limits it takes off the spontaneity the serendipity these other dynamic powers that come in so sun uh, merged with Jupiter is coming through to bring this new energy and quickly behind it y'all came this extreme intensity so that's what I want to talk about here it was ultraviolet and um, that doesn't always come through. So they're talking, be prepared for supernatural events, serendipitous events, um, special opportunities that you couldn't have crafted or created on your own where, where you bump into somebody and it starts a whole new genesis or maybe it finally gets the breakthrough that you've looked through. Kind of like we were talking about Theodore Geisel the other day, AKA Dr. Seuss. Um, due to somebody who's very uh, inflammatory with a comment here. So it brought forth that beautiful wisdom, which I'm still so thankful for, Sam, Samael. Um, anyways, these beautiful opportunities for growth and development that are to your ultimate benefit. So there could be the resistance on that of a shutdown. It could be a spotlight that comes towards you and, you're, and somebody compliments you and you're, you dismiss it. You know, if you notice and you feel, oh, I did it, then just say, I call it back, I call it back, and you breathe in, and you put your shoulders back, okay? These are quick ways to recall if you kind of glitch or fritz in the midst of that blessing, right? Um, but then it moves into some radiation. So it could be like making your muffin or your cake batter, these things that'll take a moment to move through a process, maybe a few days, maybe a few months. But um, believe in it. Stay with it. Stay with that big epiphany, that aha, that eye-opening moment, and continue to move through it with it. Don't turn on yourself is what I'm saying, my friend. But um, it does bring through a bit of intensity right behind it as well. So there's that chance to go back and to be Uranus, right? Uranus, um, which is the plant of rebellion and resistance, resisting just for the sake of, to say, you're not going to make me. You know, I'm not going to do what you do. Or maybe somebody who's had this edgy, tough persona all of a sudden is like feeling this gentleness inside and they're sort of rebelling against it going, I'm not going to be a dork, a douche, a pushover. Can you see what I'm saying? So it has some internal um, elements going on as well with the external. It's heaven on earth trying to merge here so that it can land and last. Continue living without the plucking up and throwing out the, the vegetables <laughs> instead of the weeds. You see, we're at this big transition point in our planet right now where things are literally doing that. It's like if that stubbornness persists against your well-being, then you're gonna be allowed to have it. And it'll bring in a whole new cycle, like long, long. And that's one where if you stay in the traditional American vibe of thinking I've got to prove it, I've got to earn it, I've got to deserve it, that way people can't take it away from me. Well, the thing is is that doesn't keep people from taking it away from you. Okay? There's the same amount of work that can be in doing it the organic way, but the spherical way, as opposed to the ruler, the paper. By ruler I mean like a measurement stick, right? And this moving through and when then and putting this off and putting it in the order that you think it, okay? Because that could be why often people continue to keep searching for this love, which is really life, because that's where love comes from. So get into living your life and letting the bits and pieces start showing up, because it's like the weaving of a tapestry on a loom. 
they start working in in these different ways and maybe even in places that seem unlikely or awkward or strange and you're like that why is that coming about like you know but um just like me divulging that information oh my gosh rolling on rolling on rolling on and moving forward and leaving it where it's at who knows maybe it's forward when the the channel blows up and goes viral that people are like oh wait facing challenges and continuing to believe in the midst of them we can get a breakthrough we can move through who knows but this is the sun bringing in that juicy divine deliciousness that might feel a little intense for a moment my friends so breathe get some rest hydrate i know those sound like odd sentiments right here but they're literal they're legit um some of you may need some electrolytes because that was a bit of what they had for me is like it's taking so much out of me and those electrolyte salts for me it's this uh no, i'm not advertising how it's this coconut water okay it's pink and it's kind of pricey because it hasn't been put through a heat thing which lyses some of the life force I meaning breaks it up and i need every drop i can get so i just kind of parse it out little tiny portions <laughs> and i find when i'm like oh i can't do that for now and um, then I end up in the hospital. So, not saying you're going to end up in the hospital. I'm saying you could be glorious and divine, but it could be some extra oil for your car. Um, and if the heat's up where you're at, put in some fruits. Okay, friend? And I'm not a doctor anybody. I'm just talking from my spirit. All right? I, I don't have any advice to give you. I'm just sharing a bit of what I'm going with. So, don't ever base your decisions on anything I say. Come forward from yourself, from your center. I hope that wind is not on you guys. I'll try and cup it. Um, and from your truths. That's why we take time to reflect here. And any of you, my prayer warriors, praying and believing for me and helping me through this, I'm putting some energy towards the meditation channel. It'd be really lovely to have that out for myself as well as for you guys. It's going to include um, pre-meditations as well for those of you who may have a lot going on and some trouble getting out of your headspace of what's going on in your life right now so that you could get in to the beauty of your nature okay these are it's called i love it i love it fran it's called juicy meditations <laughs> and i'm excited to get it out but my energy i've been having to put it to the things that keep me alive at the moment um, hopefully we move past that now be full vibrant and living and then it can begin to go into these accessory things that can really help whoever's seeking them so uh, friends who are here at the channel you touch my soul and you touch my heart and you make a tremendous difference in my life you give me purpose and bring meaning to my life and help me move through things that would have snuffed me out um yeah Thanks. I appreciate you. I look forward to chatting with you down below. Also, tickle all those buttons. Get this channel all excited, titillated, friends. So YouTube will share this. Not just this video. They'll share the channel with other people. And um, maybe give them the encouragement to know they are not alone. And that they are valuable. So that their life can begin here now, today. I love you. We'll talk soon.